Aphids are tiny bugs that like to drink plant sap. They appear on most plants and have a particular liking for the soft young growth. Aphids are also known as green fly or black fly. With more than 500 species of aphid in the UK, they vary both in size and colour quite a bit. Not only do they love sap, they love warmth. So mostly they appear in spring through to summer outdoors and die off in winter but indoors they can survive all year round. Colour-wise, they are best known for being green or black, but other aphid species are orange, yellow and brown. And of course, they vary in size and they appear from one millimetre to a massive seven millimetres long. Many types of aphid feed only on specific plants. So while one plant could be covered in them, the neighbouring plant won't be necessarily. Aphids are a natural part of the ecosystem and a vital source of food. So for this reason, we should probably try tolerating them. In spring, there are fewer natural predators around, so the aphid numbers do appear to be larger. But as the season continues, more predators appear and the aphid numbers are controlled. Birds, ladybirds, lacewings and wasps all love to feed on aphids. So, when do aphids become a problem? Well, they really are only a problem when they appear in large numbers. You've probably seen leaves curling and distorting where aphids appear. An additional problem caused by aphids is honeydew, and this is the sticky substance they make. This initially is not really the issue, however, it can become infested with black mould, and that's the problem. As we know, the aphid drinks the sap from the infected plant and the virus is then absorbed into its uh, digestive system and eventually into its body where it then visits another plant, drinks its sap and through its salivary canal injects, if you like, the virus into the new plant. And this illustration shows a plant virus circulating in, within an aphid. In spring, there are fewer natural predators, so the aphid numbers appear larger. But as the season continues, more predators appear, and the aphid numbers are, shall we say, controlled. Now, if chemicals are used to control the aphids earlier on, they also control the predators and kill the predators too. So when it comes to later in the season, there are fewer predators to control the aphid numbers, which I think makes sense. Aphids are a natural part of the ecosystem and a vital source of food. So for this reason, we should probably try tolerating them a bit. But that's not to say we don't control them. So we can try pinching them out or rubbing them off the plants with our hands, fingers. We can use a hose, we can set it to jet wash and blast them off. Um, you'll need to repeat this as they will return to the plant or others will replace it. I also read that aphids dislike the more pungent plants around them. So why not plant a few of those alongside the plants you have that get effective? Um, this probably won't have an immediate effect and perhaps this is a thing that you need to take a season to get right. If all else fails, Try an organic spray approach. I read there are certain options here and you can make your own mix. So look at controlling it with natural or organic sprays like a soap and water mixture, neem oil or essential oils. I read that you shouldn't spray the plants when they're in flower and this makes sense as this is when the pollinators visit. You don't want to kill the pollinators. I don't think that aphids will ever give up. They don't really know when they're not wanted. They're just here to suck the sap out of our plants. 
because let's face it, that's what they enjoy doing. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this scribe. I have, I've enjoyed drawing it. I've learnt a little bit more about aphids. I'm going to try and entertain them a bit more in my garden. I'm certainly going to encourage more predators into the garden to eat them. And I'll just continue pinching and taking them off my plants and leaves. I don't have a massive garden, so there's not a huge amount of plants to go through. Um, good luck with your aphid control. And if you'd like a copy of this poster, I'm going to post it on my website, which is sillypix.co.uk and I'll drop some links on the videos and on the social media posts too.